Hello, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to work through another letterhead example, but this time I want to use a watermark and also show you a bit about using the uh, edit, edit wrap points that you can use with um, graphics that are part of the letterhead. Now, what you see here is the kind of the finished example. We have a, a company called Bloomers, a floral company. Uh, we have a little vine graphic there and in the background we have a watermark of a lily and that's what we're going to recreate today so let's launch a blank word document so we'll go to file new blank document and I may want to go to clip art and instead of going to the internet because some of those internet images are copyrighted so you want to probably just go to clip art and just find um, something in there that would make a good watermark for you to begin with um, you cannot just navigate back to clip art to for a watermark but what you can do is capture that the um, clip art so we'll just say insert clip art first even though we're not going to leave it here but it gives us the panel to search and let's say I want to search for a lily for my watermark. So I'll just put type in Lily for search for and on this right panel. And my selected media types, I'm selecting illustrations. And then I'm going to have it search for lilies. Don't want anything, don't want anything too um strong looking. I want a very soft look to it. Oh, I like that one right there. So, um, I can double click on that one. There we go. Sometimes it's a little slow. Let me get rid of that one. I only need one. Um, so, okay, I don't want it here. I just want to leave it here long enough to copy it. Or actually save as save as picture and I'm just going to save it in my um, well I have a folder already for this so let me just save it in my my YouTube examples and file name um, I already have it in there but anyway Lily clip art 2 let's call it and we'll save it in there and then I'll delete it from the word page because I've got it saved now and I'll bring it back in in just a bit. So let's do that. Let's insert the watermark. So we can go to page layout. It's where you find watermark at. So go to page layout tab. Go to watermark. And obviously we have the text kind. We're confidential, rough draft, do not copy, those kind of things. But we want to go down to custom watermark. And this is where you get the choice of saying a picture watermark. So select picture watermark. It gives you the ability to browse back to the image you plan on using. So we will go back to the one we already put in there, Lily Clip Art 2. Double click on that, it puts the uh, path right there. Um, scale, I'm going to leave it on auto, but you can control it if you need to. Um, you have a choice here. You want the image to look washed out, or do you want it its regular? color. So usually with watermarks you want them a bit washed out because you don't want them competing with the foreground. Now, of course if you did want for some reason text watermark you could uh, design all this yourself. But I'm going to leave it on what I've got now and apply OK. And you can probably just see the watermark. It's not real obvious and nor do you want it real obvious so there it is on the page now let's go ahead and check some settings and get some margins set while we're here um, let me get home and check my settings I want to be on 1.0 for single space and I want under the paragraph ribbon let me click on that and spacing after I want to be zero point line spacing should be single okay and now I want to go to page layout again and go to my margins and go down to custom margins and let's get it ready for letterhead. For letterhead I like a point two. Oops, two. Okay. 
point two top margin, bottom left and right can be one inch. That's fine. Orientation should be on portrait. And say okay. Now it won't give you a true point two. I've noticed when I do a watermark, for some reason it pushes everything down and won't let you up at the point two, but that's as close as it's going to let you get. So you just have to be okay with that. I want to bring in my graphic that I'm using, my floral graphic, which I'm going to use a vine. So I'll insert a picture this time. And I think this is just clip art anyway, but it's just ivy. And I purposely picked one that had a little bit of a curve in it because I wanted to do a little design work with that ivy. Let me insert it. Yes, it comes in really huge, but you've got to be okay with that. It's just a simple matter of going to any corner, holding the mouse button down, and resizing the graphic to fit the space. All right, something like that to begin with. You can always make it bigger if we need to. I also need to format this graphic because right now it's not going to let me type anything out beside it until I format it. So let me click on the graphic. Picture tools lights up. Format comes up. Click on format if it's not already on there and then what you want to look for is wrap text that's the command that is going to give you some choices to where you can say square and it's going to let you now have text beside of it so um, I would probably push that over to the corner more it doesn't have to obey the margins we may be moving that around in a bit but anyway let me go as high as I can with my cursor and get ready to type my company name I'll put it on center and like I said I'm gonna make it bloomers it's gonna be um, some kind of fancy font let me see what I want to use today uh, let's use monotype Corsica and it's 48 and may or may not be bold let me try it so let me type in bloomers or bloomers incorporated you know whatever I'm just doing doing it as an example company and um, before I leave this line, I want to take my font size back down to like 10 or 12, make it something normal. So my huge get I don't have a huge gap when I hit enter. And then I hit enter. And it seems like I got extra space there I didn't really want. Let me check my settings. Spacing after zero. And line spacing should be. At one point out, oh, okay. Let me go back to 12 there for that. Alright. At this point, we'll go back to align text left over here, and I'm going to take it back to something very readable like Times New Roman or Calibre, either one. Let's see, let me do Times New Roman for this one. Either one. As long as, the, as long as it is a very readable font, you're in good shape. So we'll go 12. We'll just do uh, some made-up address. And actually, I did not want this to be bold. Let me take the bold off. And... I'm going to tab it over. I may be adjusting this, but I just want to kind of keep it equal distance between the company name and the end of highway and the S and the beginning of a, a phone number or whatever we're going to do here. Um, now I'll put in phone. Um, some phone number. And then we'll hit enter. And we'll complete the address with the city state zip. And I'm hitting tab again, and I'm going to get over here and either put a fax number or email address, whatever works best for you. And if I in there and I'll put some random number in for that okay 
Now, this particular letterhead, I'm not going to do the graphical line that separates the letterhead from everything below it. I'm going to be a little more creative than that. I'm just going to kind of move this ivy down a bit. And I wanted to show you kind of how to move some things around slightly to make it look a little better. I kind of want my um, phone numbers over here to um, hit at the same point on the right side. So I'm going to scoot that one over just a little bit more, that fax number, so that it's very straight on the edge over here. And um, over here, I am going to work with this graphic to make it kind of curve over and around that address a bit more. And I can do that by simply going back up to format. And I've already been here once. I went to wrap text, but I picked square last time. Uh, this time I'm going to pick a new one called edit wrap points, which is kind of a fun trick to use. And it kind of allows, allows you to um, let the text, you know, wrap in a little bit more. I can grab my wrap points and let me show you this symbol with the four little arrows. Uh, when you see that you can push in or out and it makes the text get closer to the graphic. I'll try to find another spot to do that with. See how it bends it in a bit and it makes it come over a little more. See if we can find another place there since that line really cuts in right there. It just kind of adds a little more impact. So I do want to keep the address straight right there. I just like that to curve in a little bit more with that. So as you can see, you can activate it get, and then or pull away from it and it just has a little more of a design feature in there by doing it that way. Now you have the graphic and then you have the um, watermark in place and that can be um, your letterhead. So, also, just tidy it up a little bit. Let me push that back over for the back so I can get this, keep this side straight. Also, want this equal distance thing going on between the company name and the address and the phone number. So this side looks okay since I've moved it over, but this side's a little tight. So I may just have to scoot this up just a little bit more, make it look a little more centered. Okay, a little better. I may want to go just a bit more. Got a little room to play with here. You can always change your right margin to let it go out a little bit more if you need to. All right. So that was pretty close to what I was looking for there. So there you go for those of you that need uh, some more creative ideas for your letterhead. Thank you for your time.